Well, as far as the forecast goes, today's highs were pretty steamy still. Most of us have been on repeat for a while now. We hit the 70s, if not the low 80s. Lows this morning were in the 60s. And with this warmth, with this moisture, at times we're going to see some showers and storms. Overnight we could see some fog. Let's go ahead and take those uh, graphics full screen. Our showers and thunderstorms are, have started to slow down this evening. I do think we could see a few more of them, but especially once the sun goes down, we're going to lose the chance of that daytime heat. Could see some fog actually overnight tonight. Check this picture out. This was actually sent in by Ramey Perkins. She captured the sunrise in McDowell County, or he did, excuse me, as the sun was coming up, and you can see that fog there. I could see a lot of this happening again overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, and that could slow you down in some of those valleys, river valleys, or any areas in general that we did see rain. We saw fog in Wythe County last night, for instance. They had showers a lot of the day yesterday. Now today, again, the coverage of these showers and storms have been very spotty, but if you get a downpour in your area that wets the ground, again, that could make for some fog overnight. Luckily, though, we haven't seen any severe weather, no major flooding issues. We don't have the energy for that. We've just got these regular daytime thunderstorms that pop up a lot during the afternoon uh, days during the summer, the afternoon during the summer. Temperatures right now are still pretty steamy, enough to get a few more showers and storms, but we don't have a frontal system interacting with this warm and humid air yet. We need a low pressure system to come in. That's not going to happen at least for another few days. So we're just kind of sitting in this warm and sticky air mass. Dew points have also been in the 60s, if not even the low 70s, and that's uncomfortable to almost oppressive out there. That humidity, it almost feels like you're swimming through the air at times. It is just so thick. But the good news is, again, we're not expecting anything severe. Maybe you're slapping something on the grill the rest of the evening. It looks pretty nice out there right now. This is our Burke's Garden, or this is our uh, Southwest Virginia Community College camera, excuse me. We're seeing a mixture of sun and clouds out there right now. Not everyone guaranteed to see rain. You just might see a pop-up shower before the day is done. And there's a reason for that. We've got high pressure still hugging the coastline. Notice the arrows, that clockwise flow around that high pressure system, still ushering in this warm and humid air from the south. So that's why we're so hot and humid. We won't have a frontal system move in until the weekend. That's when things could change. But looking at future cast, here we are tonight. Not a lot going on, just a few spotty showers and storms. We head into the overnight hours. And again, once we get past sundown, things are pretty much calming down. As we head into tomorrow, we start off with some cloud cover, some breaks of sun. By the afternoon, again, we get into that heat of the day, could see a few more showers and storms. But generally, rain amounts do not look impressive through most of this week. It's by the weekend that we're going to get a better chance of rain. So overnight tonight, temperatures for most in the 60s to recap. Highs tomorrow in the 80s, some showers and thunderstorms again during the afternoon. And then we get that better chance of rain on Saturday and Sunday. Next week, looking a lot like this week, daily pop-up showers and storms. Highs still in the 70s and 80s. Hey, stick with us. Hannah Howard will be back.